Welcome back to Simulator Fan News. I hope you're very well today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a game which came out this week, released on the 22nd of February, called Garden Life, a Cozy Simulator. Now this is an extension of uh, Nacon's Life series. So we have already played uh, Chef Life here on the channel. Train Life is a game that I've got and I love, but I haven't actually featured it on my channel. Soon they're going to be releasing Taxi Life, which is coming out in March. But on the 22nd of February, they released Garden Life, which is a cozy simulator. So let's learn a little bit about it. See if it's your jam. Um, so the developers have said Garden Life is a relaxing gardening game in which you create your dream garden in a peaceful, colourful world. Plant and um, plants and ornaments at your own pace, transforming an overgrown, forgotten plot into a flourishing community garden. So far, positive reviews. Um, let's have a look at a couple of the videos. Let's go for this one here. Hey, yeah. I'm Jasmine. It's so great to finally meet you. This garden really means a lot to us. That's why we're looking for someone new to take the reins and bring some life back to this community garden. It's a shame none of the plants made it. Look at how great the garden looks already! You're a natural! Gardening, patience is key. It's summertime. Hard to believe you've been here for a whole season already. on clearing away all that rubble, the garden looks much bigger now. I'm really glad I found you to look after the garden. You've done really well with it. Okay, um, let's check out the second video as well. Hey, hey there. As you might have heard, this is a difficult time for us. Robin, who organized and cared for the community garden, was sadly taken from us too soon. We want to honor their memory. That's why we're looking for someone new to take the reins and bring some life back to this community garden. Everyone is super excited to meet you. I'm friendly. <laughs> I'm Robin. And the others don't know I'm still here. Now, I don't want to put you under any pressure. This is your garden now. But I would really appreciate it if you could finish the list for me. You want to put up a store to sell things from the garden? I think I can arrange that. Thanks for the jasmine. I think this is going to be a good batch. Congrats on clearing away all that rubble. The garden looks much, much bigger now. As you can see, I spoke to my locksmith friend. The greenhouse is yours to do with what you will now. So, this is the pavilion. We thought it might be nice to honor the people in the village who we really care about. 
All of these statue frames you see came from that. Marcus and I will work on getting them set up when all the flowers are collected. It's all beautiful. The tree, the flowers, the stream, the wildlife. They were always going to outlast me. Good luck with whatever you do with the garden next. And have fun! That's what this has always been about, in the end. Okay, guys, so that gave you a nice flavour of the game. Now, I thought we could just discuss and have a little chat about the trailer. Um, I'm going to use this one because this has the most gameplay elements to it. Uh, so I have muted the game so that we uh, the video so that we can talk. Um, so when I was reading about this game, I wasn't sure how the progression would work. I haven't played the game yet myself. Um, of course, I will look to do that. So what interested me was we do have a bank balance, even though it isn't necessarily a business at the beginning. But as you saw the game progress, um, there was the opportunity for us to sell items. So that gets the sort of simulator vibe going for me um the npcs the non-playable characters uh oh really very nicely designed actually it's quite nice that there it's not too intrusive into your gameplay it's very open world um but they do give you direction at the beginning so that's really nice you've got the to-do list there in the back um the whole story is that you're taken over from somebody that passed away and they let it get a little bit dilapidated. So it's our opportunity to make something special of it. So if we just carry on through this video, it looks like a cat comes with it, which is quite cute. Um, love the detailing, all these little hand drawings. It's very visually beautiful really visually beautiful um i love that there's this uh to-do list here just to give you a little bit of direction sometimes when you come into games and there's no um tutorials or direction you think what am i supposed to do where am i supposed to what what what, what? um looks like there's plenty to buy it's quite cute so there's customization um flower ladder wrapping paper stuff like that this is a little bit like ranch simulator how you go through and pick what you want to build it doesn't look like you need materials to build it um but you will need to paint it if you well you don't need to if you want to this is cute so once you've planted your plants it looks like you can put them into your inventory um and it looks like there is a payment which comes out from sales until you get to the point where you have your own market stall. And we'll get to that later in a video. But once you cut the flowers, you get the clippings, you pop it in your inventory, you receive the payments automatically. So that's really nice. But here, okay, collect earned and profits. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong here, and it is set up a garden stall. So you set up, let's mute it. Okay, so when you set it up, you put them in there, and then you just go and collect the money. Yeah. Okay, so that's part of it. It's a shame that you're not actually at the market stall getting some interaction, but I suppose the focus on the game is actually in the garden. So you could argue that there. Um, got an introduction of a new NPC here called Marcus, which is really nice. It looks like he's put in an order. I like that. Um, it looks like you can deliver a bouquet and cuttings. So that's really cool. So getting orders in is really, that's nice. I like that. And here's the final bouquet here. So it's not just the cuttings. 
Does it show us given? Okay, so you end up putting them in a little delivery truck and that gets sent off to um, the person who you're delivering it to, in this case, Mark. Thanks for the jasmine. I think this is going to be a good bag. So I just want to pause it here. Oops, gosh, it's going way too fast for me and the pause button is way too Congrats small. on clearing away all that rubble, batch. Here we go. I just wanted to look at this. So this little board, it looks like... Um, where you can expand it's an expansion area so want to expand your garden you can repair your bridge um change your fence for a new coat of paint and you buy these upgrades so that you can improve the look and feel of your garden and then you end up getting a greenhouse which is quite cool um and the controls look really, <clears throat> really quite simple. So Jasmine, a new NPC, wants us to do um, a community garden here, the community pavilion, which again is a really nice um, <clears throat> sort of, I suppose the idea of this game is called a cozy simulator. The idea is it's supposed to feel homely. And I do get that sense in this uh, in this video. That it's very homely, very relaxed, very chilled, doing things for the community. That's quite nice. There's no stress. There's no uh, pressure. It really is. In fact, I don't think I've even seen the earth. Apart from in the earlier screens where there was a clock, there is no time on here. But it does show seasons. So in the first um, video... We had, let me just put this on mute, there is rain, so there's weather, and you do see the video go through the seasons that, I mean, we have here in the UK. Many countries around the world have seasons. Um, so spring, summer, autumn, winter. So that's quite nice to see that they've introduced seasons. I think that would be really nice for... And also, it'd be interesting to see because plants obviously grow in different times of the year. Does is that an effect? These are all questions, I suppose, that we we would be able to answer if we played the game. But let me know if you would like me to to have a look at this. Uh, so the game itself is twenty nine. Uh, sorry, twenty ninety nine. Or there's the supporter edition, which includes two items. Um, the Garden Life Supporter Pack, and that is twenty four ninety nine. So you can pay an extra bit of money and get the Supporter Edition. I'm just going to click on what that the Garden Life Supporter Pack. I I'm I'm assuming. Let's have a look. What does that give you? The Supporter Pack. Is it just about supporting them as a? As an organization this contents base game yeah i think it really is just a little bit of extra look and feel content but i think it is just supporting the the developers of the game more than anything which is which is lovely i like that um what's this one here bug support okay so they are, look, looks like they're being very reactive with the bugs which are coming up as well. So if you like something a bit chilled out, something a bit relaxing, this might be the game for you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like and share this with your friends. And uh, come back to my channel for more Simulator Fan News. Thank you for being here. Make sure to keep simming, guys. Bye for now.